Whenever any complex system is assembled and installed, it is natural to encounter difficulties or malfunctions along the way, and fiber optic networks are no exception. These problems often arise during installation and usually manifest themselves when the system is turned on for the first time. However, some problems may be intermittent or may not appear until well after the network is serving its users. In any case, network problems must be tracked down and eliminated quickly to minimize the financial, security, and social impact of the outage. Because unexpected problems always have time and cost impacts, it's important to develop the understanding and the skills required to troubleshoot your fiber optic installation. Troubleshooting efforts can be divided into two broad categories. First, from the perspective of the installation technician, and second, from the perspective of the maintenance technician. Installation technicians usually encounter problems as a natural part of the installation process, and many of these are resolved as installation work progresses. Some problems, however, can escape the attention of the installers and can usually be caught by acceptance testing of the fiber system before it is turned over to its users. In some respects, the troubleshooting role of the installation technician can be easier than that of the maintenance technician. Although there is usually a deadline to meet, installers have the luxury of not having users demanding access to the network while troubleshooting is underway. And due to the way that new construction usually progresses, it is often easier to access the cable and splice points during or immediately after installation than it is later in the life of the network. It is the responsibility of the installation technician to verify the new system meets specifications prior to allowing any data traffic on the network and fully documenting the results. The acceptance testing process usually requires the use of the OTDR for span and splice signatures, as well as optical loss test sets for overall attenuation levels and optical power measurements. Maintenance technicians, however, are often under tremendous pressure to find and repair problems quickly, and they may not have the familiarity with the physical fiber span as the installer. They are also responsible on a day-to-day -day basis for keeping the system in top operating condition, so emerging problems are caught and resolved before they can cause an outage. Understanding the typical causes of fiber optic system failures will help the restoration planning team anticipate what may be expected in their particular system. Also, understanding the causes of these failures can help develop procedures to minimize or even eliminate future outages. In this program, we will examine some of the common problems that can occur during the installation of a fiber optic network, as well as problems that may appear as the network ages. We will detail the steps required to isolate and resolve these problems to keep your fiber network operating in a reliable manner.